this is pixel lab and i'll be taking us through the step-by-step -step method <laughs> that you can actually use your mobile phone to create a very simple and nice design so now this is the interface of the pixel lab as you can see now this first thing you are seeing below you have couple of some wallpaper should i call them wallpaper or what should i even call them okay so you can tap each and every one of them to see how they are so your next one is you can see your styles you can see edit you can see you can see your delete copy to the front to back position relative so we are going to talk about all these ones as we design now the next one you also have other things you have your import your stickers you have your draw you have your shapes you have your bizarre and your arrow which we'll talk about for the next one you have your color transparent image size image from gallery from camera which we'll also talk about why the next one is like your settings where you have your brightness your stripes your noise your contrast your hue and saturation so now at the top here you see like a plus sign there here now you can add your text add current date add sticker add shapes add from gallery and also draw good all of them are for like a text file now for this new text that is showing here you see that is selected once i tap this pencil it's like editing a text the next one is to copy a text you see it has copied it the next one is to rotate a text you can see it if you want to rotate a text the next one you have is your color you can change the color of the text as you can see the text is changing color why this one is to reposition your text so you can see whether to your vertical center horizontal center and the rest this one is to move the text either backward this one is to move it to the back this one is to move it to the front so that's that now you can also delete your text you can say delete button close to the pencil button once you tap on it you see delete the selected object okay so once you select an object once like this one i select it i can go to delete so i've deleted it so now this one is your undo button you see i can undo all what i just did now this one is your save button which we'll be using in the future this one is your share button or is also your save button this one is your zoom that's if you want to zoom you can see you can see once you want to zoom just tap on the zoom you will see it it will be 100 then from there you can now zoom to what you are looking for now i'll tap on it to deactivate this one is your grid lines just in case you are planning on drawing something and you can also set the grid lines to the number you want you can see the settings down here so you can see you can add them here you add them here are you seeing it uh-huh or you can also remove them here and remove them so i'll take it down to default and you can also give it number let's assume a one nine by nine grid line so i'll enter nine by nine so you can see it so it depends on what you are looking for now i will restore it back to default which is three by three and deactivate it so this one is your quote they are quotes by different people just in case you want to make use of them you can see motivation success friendship happiness inspiration positivity and absurd so now i'm not interested in this i'll go back so the, you have this your three lines this is your three lines you see use image from gallery full screen so these ones will still look at it then one of the most important things here is this one this is called layers now this is where everything you'll be doing all the shapes you'll be adding the text will be saved as layer they'll come here as your layer now if you understand design applications such as photoshop illustrator uh -huh, and even in design you understand that these applications that deal with layers these layers now is like everything you are doing is on its own you understand is appearing in the same place but yet is on its own that is you can easily modify something without affecting the rest you can modify one particular thing without affecting the rest of the things so and it also has other advantages so that's layers it's because of the layer that this pixel lab has that's why it's very possible for us to be able to run the kind of designs 
we can do and even more on it so that's that's the interface and that's all the tools we need to know in this pixel lab so see you guys in the next video thank you so very much i hope you enjoyed this video and you understand it thank you So now we'll be taking us step by step where we can design this from start something like this to from start to finish so now i want us before we start the first thing is when you want to design you have to think of what to design first what it's all about think of your elements and the rest i cannot take us through all those design principles and design concept yes i cannot really take design elements design principles and the rest but in our subsequent class, I'll make a video on all those ones. But I want us to notice something. Now, this one is talking about primos for like people praying, worshipping. That's how to use this picture. Now, if you notice, I have first, I have a normal picture, right? Then secondly, I now have a rectangle, a colored rectangle with opacity. Now, if you look at it, you see that you are seeing the picture through the rectangle and that rectangle gives the picture a kind of fa a colored kind of filter you understand so what happened was that i reduced the opacity of the rectangle that's why it's looking this very mature now if you look at it at the head in here you see i wrote two sessions of six hour stretch prayers then first session six hours second session six hours then i used team then i used premosphere isolation so all these ones although i made this design making use of photoshop yes but the truth about the whole thing is that this design that you are seeing now i can replicate and do the same thing using this pixel lab we are going to use so i just wanted us to look at what we'll be designing first before we start so you can look at it very well from time to time we'll be coming back for it so thank you so much see you as we start designing so welcome back now first of all i'm going to delete these text layers so now that I've deleted the text layers, next, the next thing I want to do is to bring in my main picture. Now I'm talking of the picture of people praying. That will be the first thing I'll bring in. So to bring in that picture, it's just for me to tap the plus key. Then I go to from gallery. I enter. So now I know that probably the picture is under my gallery and under downloads. Okay because i actually downloaded the picture using my chrome so it should be my downloads folder so i've entered my download and i think this is it so now you see this one now is showing me i can resize it to different shapes that i like you understand and this one is for in case you are trying to reshape it but then me i want the full picture so now what i'm going to do is just to tap here that's after resizing if you want to go back to the full picture so you to tap this button and it's going back this button is for you to rotate it and uh -huh. so depending on what you want this one is for you to switch it whether you flip it horizontally or you flip it vertically but me i prefer the picture to be this way then you press your good now you can see that this picture has two smaller one at the right edge and the other at the bottom edge and one at the corner so now this all these buttons are to increase or to widen the picture now i will pick it by this larger cycle hold and drag it i want it to get to the edge of this screen like this so now i'm satisfied with this now the next thing we need remember i told you that what i did was i used a rectangle 
a colored rectangle then i reduce the opacity so the next thing we need now after you are, you might have done this come outside of your design area and tap on it or you can tap on this particular one not on the picture but tapping on the picture you only have options to edit the picture do you get me and so you tap on this so tapping on this i have my plus key so my plus i want to add shapes now you see that this is exactly the shape i want a rectangle so now as it is i want to resize my rectangle so now resizing my rectangle now i will extend it to the top here then this one i will extend it to the bottom then this one i will extend it to my right and this i'll extend it to my left until to fill the whole screen so now as it is you can see some options here under from this option you can even change the shape here are you seeing the different shape the cycle the semicycle the rectangle and the rest so now i'll go down to my color so now my color i'll go to my close button i need something like uh somewhere something around here i think i'm okay with this color this way you'll be seeing your color this place uh -huh. so you can change it here you can lighten the color if you like from here or you darken it here you can darken it uh-huh but i think i'm satisfied with something like this so I'll press ok so you can see that the the color the picture is no longer visible the color have covered everywhere but remember what i told you about opacity so you now come scroll up you see opacity so i will reduce my opacity so you can see that i'm now seeing the picture through my colored rectangle so i'll reduce this my opacity to something like okay let's say 60 percent so i think 60 percent or let me see if i can reduce it further to like 50 okay or let me go back to the 60 so i'll reduce it to 60 percent and i'm okay i'll press good so this is what i have now so now having this one now remember in what we designed that's our main design there was something white around this area this area you understand so I'll press my undo now you will find out that once you start touching all these ones you can be shifting them are you seeing maybe mistakenly now i don't want that to happen so because i don't want something like that to happen i'll tap my layer now this is the layer of the rectangle and this is the layer of the picture i will both lock them you can see this padlock and now take my layer back so you see that now i cannot move them no matter what i do they will not move so i'm okay with it like this so the next thing is that i'll bring in that white so that white also i can also use a rectangle so i'll go to my clause and i'll go to my shape now you see my shape has appeared now press and hold and drag it downward here and also extend this right to this place and extend this left to this place and this one i'll drag it to this to somewhere like this so once i'm done the color i don't really like this pure white i want to change the color to a little bit of gray like this so i think i'm okay with this gray so you can see that okay how my my flyer is looking so far you can see that i now have something similar to this now if you notice very well this flyer you could see some patterns that are not really pronounced but are still visible like this one and this one now this pattern the pattern i used here was in photoshop i don't really have the pattern here but we are going to use another pattern on this pixel lab because i downloaded some patterns specially for this so we are going to be using some of them to create something like that so we'll be doing something like that in the next video <laughs> thank you So now, if you have been following the video from the start, you know the next thing we have to do now is to, to create our patterns. So now, I told you I downloaded some patterns. So to create our patterns now, first of all, I will tap on this one, this rectangle we just created. Now, after tapping on the rectangle, you can see 
that will come to this place if i come so now i will scroll down now if you check you will see something here which says texture are you seeing it so this texture now i will enter it now you see no texture selected because i've not selected any texture i will tap on it and i told you how i was able to download some textures so i'll go to gallery and on that gallery i'll switch to my let's see my download it should be my download because i downloaded it using chrome so you can see different textures which i have so now the one i'm interested in using you can use any of them because i'll be sending all the texture to us and you can also go online and check on different textures you might see the ones that are nice that are more nice and good looking than this one i'm going to use now so i'll tap on it so you can see you can see it i want to pick it as it is like this full so i'll press good so you can see how it's looking the texture is looking now you can increase the scale or reduce the scale are you seeing how beautiful it's looking so but me i don't like it the way it is little the small me i prefer to increase it to to you can see embed you see but i prefer this one something like this so now i'll leave it like this and press my good but now as this texture is now if i should write on this thing it will not really look nice so i want to reduce the texture and for me to reduce the texture there's a little trick that i've learned over the years i've been using photoshop well i know this one that i'm saying over the years some people might be thinking ah it can be five six seven no it's just two years actually just two years into photoshop so now we are going to do a little trick you remember your your layers so we'll go back to our layer and tap it now this is our colored layer this is our picture and then this the layer that is carrying the texture now i want us to duplicate the layer carrying our texture so to duplicate the layer carrying our texture now i will tap on this one showing like a pencil so the first one is to duplicate now i've duplicated it now tap back the layer now drag it down to this position to make sure two of them are in the same position now what i'm going to do for this layer i copied now i'll go back to my texture and i'll remove the texture for the layer are you getting me now since i'm done removing the texture i'll now go to my opacity and reduce now be watching depending on how pronounced you want your your patterns to look i think i'm okay at 95 yes so let me arrange it let me drag it down a little bit so i think i'm okay like this or let me make it more pronounced tap on it i'll go to my to opacity and i think okay let me see no i think i'm okay at 95 i'm okay at 95 actually so you can see that we are not having something like this although this one still look more pronounced but you know of course I told you I use Photoshop. You cannot really beat Photoshop because Photoshop has special features for that this one, for something like this. This one, you know, it was based on manipulation. We were able to get it. So at least you have something cool looking like this. Thank you for following up on this video. We at Ben Elohim are dedicated to giving you the best. We are dedicated to giving you good understanding and also excellence. So thank you very much for following up on this video. See you in our next video. Thank you. So, welcome back. Now we'll continue from where we stop. So, what we'll be doing now, we'll be entering our text now you can either enter your text from here where you have you can add your text or you enter your text from here depending on what which one you want so now we have adding your text from here this is what you have so now you can drag it to the middle 
then i expand it using this cycle you understand this corner now what i want to write here is i want to write pray most fair pray most fair okay so i've been written i've been written pray most fair let's assume you know this one this is my writing now my p is the only capital letter the rest are small letter so let's assume i want to capitalize everything it's just for me to come here and tap at this t this icon carrying double t if you want to take it back to how it was before you just tap it back are you seeing it so now i prefer it this all to be capital letter i'll press ok so as you can see my primos fair is too big to the extent that this fair have to come down now to reduce this i have to just come here and rescale it reduce it down then i move it here then i extend this one by my right so we can see so we now have our pre most fair but then this font to me although the font is okay but to me i'm still looking at it as if the font is too slim so let me see what i can do about it so now having touch selected the font i will scroll down so you see your font here so under your font you see different fonts that you can use there is meme so let me see if i can get a thick one you can also go to my font now this my font is if you have any custom font you can see where what is telling this is where you can keep the font say so to add your custom font play them place them one of the following directories either you place them in your download or you place them in your font good so now i'll go back to my font i think let me try this one and see so i'll select it and press ok so i think i'm okay with this so okay let me tell you a simple trick let's say for instance i just want to change the font of this pre not all the premosphere i'll move this selection you can see a selection here i'll move it to the word i want it to change okay let's say i just want to change the font of mos that's mos uh -huh. so i'll select only mos and tap the font and press ok so you can see what ha what just happened the mos font is different from the rest so that's just by the way so i think i'm okay with this font as it is now i'm okay so i have primos fair so you can also look at other things here like to position the font uh -huh. you know like that depending on what you want you have your size if you want to increase you have your padding mm -hmm. so like that you have your color uh -huh. in case you want to change the color of the font uh -huh. but me i prefer white so i'll go and choose a white color good so i think i'm okay with white color so mm -hmm. and texture you remember we added texture to our normal square or rectangle that's the same way you can also add texture to your text so you have your opacity you have your rotate your mask and also style okay this style now you can either bold your font if you so wish or you make it aha uh -huh, are you seeing it or you underline it so i don't want any of this so i'll just press good then your curve you can also use it to curve your text which of course um i don't want to make use of that and your background you can decide to use a background for the font you understand uh -huh. so you can see although something like this is looking quite good but that's not our aim or our goal so i will remove the background for now then you have your align align right align left and align center you can also justify so your spacing this is your spacing now you can space between letters you can see that i'm having more space now and as you are reducing you have less space do you understand so i think i'll leave it at normal spacing then your words let's as let's assume you're having more than your word you know this is just one word that's why this spacing is not working because this space is for words i'll take it back to default so this line spacing is you type something that you have more than one line maybe two three four lines so this is the spacing between those things typed on the lines so this one is not for this class so you also have your stroke your stroke is let's assume you can also increase the stroke with here 
you see to have something like this this effect wow i think this effect is looking very nice i'll reduce it to like five i think i'll leave it like this then you also have your shadow are you seeing what's happening you can also reduce or increase the opacity here the blur radius here too then uh -huh. then you have that glow you can enable your x are you seeing what's happening it's moving towards the x you can even use this to give it a 3d like form then your y you can set it to your y i think something like this then okay let me think something like this so you can see you can give it a 3d shape but well i don't really like that then your inner shadow too uh-huh you can also choose the color you can change the color of all these things you get it so you have your blue radius i think this is looking a little bit nice okay we have something like this i think this is quite nice actually okay we have we can have something like this uh-huh something like this so you can play around that to see what you can so you have your emboss your emboss is one of the things i like but i don't think i want to emboss this so you can increase or reduce the 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 intensity you can see how good the font is looking are you seeing it ambient light this one to increase the light falling on the on the shape so we can see uh, all these ones you can just go through the settings and see so you can see bevel uh-huh so you can see how good looking it is now you can see have something like this so okay so you can just play around with them even the angle you see the angle but i don't want to use that then you, your perspective too you understand perspective you can make one place bigger just like this you can see how the text is then this place too uh -huh. depending on what you want you see this one you see something like this you see how the thing is looking Primos is looking very beautiful but then that's not what i want so you tap so you can do so many things then this one your 3d rotate of course so no rotate rotation you can rotate it you see it that's something like this are you seeing uh-huh are you seeing can I even do something like this she's looking very nice actually something like this and the rest well actually that's not what i want then you have 3d text here you can make it 3d this is your depth you can play around with your depth you can see what's happening then darking you can set it here x rotation you can rotate it just like this uh -huh. are you seeing it and the rest so you can just play around with it and see what you can do so you have you also have 3d shadow actually so you can see this the opacity this your blur radius and this your expand if you want to expand it and the rest so and your reflection very important in fact this class i wanted us to make use of reflection so you can see how good looking the whole reflection of the thing is but then so that's probably let's say the all the major things all the things that are relating to text on this application so you can do well to explore use them in any of your design and see how nice they are so thank you so much our next video will look at how to bring in the rest of the text files thank you continue from where we stop in our last class so remember now we'll be completing the rest of the text so now we are adding the text the first one says good so now we have this which is two sessions of six hours stretch prayers 
so now if you like you can go down you can go to the size and increase it okay i want to leave it at 45 then i want to also do something which is this align okay then i want to spacing i want to reduce the spacing let me see let me give it three or two like this then i also want to want to bold it this my style this is my style i want to bold it okay i guess this spacing let me just take it to zero okay um what do i have i'm okay with the font actually uh size i'm okay with size so my position now okay let me use my relative position i want to center it right so now i'm going to copy this text remember i will copy now enter it and i'll write so now i'll press ok now i'm going to reduce it and drag this one so i'll have something like this so now i can increase i can go to my size if i so desire and increase it to like 30 then i'll go to my relative position and also centralize it so i have this and go to my add then i go to my shape and add it so now what i really needed or what i need is not a square as you can see what appeared here is a square what i need is a cycle so i'll tap here look at a cycle and change it to a cycle now i want to reduce my cycle so now I'll pick this side this is where to reduce and increase then i want to position it somewhere here i'll reduce it so i'll scroll down to where my color is tap and see if i can trace a green maybe i'll use something like this yes i think i'm okay with this so now i'll press my okay now i'm going to copy this text again so to copy it i'll just tap here or you can just tap here then come here copy then i drag this one down to write on it team so i'll write team okay so i'll drag it to this place okay is i can use my position to position it i think i'm okay so this green now okay edit let me see if i can make it more darker actually so let me have something like this good so this is what so now i'll do something i will add a stroke to do. select this edit and down to my stroke width So I've taken it to 10. So I have something like this. Let me move my font. Okay. Position. So I think I'm okay with this. We'll copy this one. Drag it here. And press OK. So now I'll I can now enlarge it a little bit if I want okay relative position and centralize it center it at the middle so i'll come to my primosphere tap on it go to my mask enter it now you see the mask right okay just pay special attention to what i'll be teaching you now now this max you can either use out or in but what i want to make use of now is in so now you can tap here to move the max around you can see or you can tap here the, the to scale it this scale now is to increase or to reduce it so i want to increase it because i want to actually make some modifications so like this i want to cancel this point i want to also cancel this point so you can see how to cancel your point so this one 
I want to arrange it to be more like a square so you can see the I'm pulling the angles you can even zoom in if you so wish mm -mm. okay let me cancel okay good so I want to modify this place Okay. Okay. I want to delete that point. So now, and also this point, I want to delete it. So now, I want to use only these two points. Okay. Yes. Also, these two points. Okay. Okay. So you can see how I'm using the handles to control it here. Okay, so now I want to move it so that I can bring in my solution, tap on it using position and take it upward. Okay, so I think I'm okay like this. So at any point in time, if you want to modify your mask, you can come tap on your primo sphere then scroll down go to your mask and you have something like this do you get it then you can now modify here now this place is to rotate it which of course that's not what i want i cancel the rotation here is to scale you remember uh -huh. to scale it up or down so we also have this then uh, so i think I'm okay with what I'm seeing actually. Permit me to move this one in a little bit and bring this one like this, something like this. This one, the same thing. Move it in a little bit, something like this. Mm -hmm. Super sorry. Then something like this. You know, things like this needs they need precision. So that's why you see I'm doing it gradually, gradually, until I get what I want. Okay, so I think I'm okay with this isolation. Good. From here, we can also copy this text. If we so, we go tap on it, copy, drag it. Now. Okay, so now. This ministry Holy Spirit, if you can see, because it's white and because it's sitting on a gray background, it's not that visible. So we have to change the color. So we'll scroll to color. So I'll tap here and I'll change my color to black. And not only change to color but to black, I'll go to front, I'll go to my style and I'll remove effects, I'll remove the boldness so that the font can be is okay. So thank you for watching. <music>
I can only increase the size of everything at a time and not the size of the individual. So as a result of that, I will clean all this one and leave only Friday. Now the Friday I'll write it in capital letter. Friday and put my press my okay. Okay. So now this Friday I'll reduce it a little bit and also also change the color hello so where's my color this is my color i'll be changing it to this green and also i'll be removing the style uh you know because of we we copied it from the first salmon for the from the first session six hours and you know the first session six hours will apply bold so i'll go to style and i'll cancel this style so that i can have something like this so I will reposition my Friday to somewhere here. Now the next thing I want to do, I will copy this my Friday. So this is it. Now this Friday I copy it and to enlarge it. I will now enter my 22. So this 22 now, I will go ahead and apply a bold style to it. And I increase it a little bit. So that I have something like this. I'll reduce it. Okay. So I have something like this. So the next one is me. So my me now. I also this Friday. Let me select it. I'll copy it. Then I'll bring it down here. I'll change it to me. M A Y. Press OK. So this me now let me see let me increase it a little bit so let me place it here sorry okay okay so i think i'll increase it more this 20 second i can reposition it okay i think i'm okay like this but then this is my 20 second let me change the color let me see color let me change it to the color i used here let me see if i can pick something similar so i think let me go for something like this so friday 20 second of me you may to let me change the color to something like this and let me reposition it okay position reduce it to move by one so i think i'm okay with the position of my me i'll go to my ad from gallery i think i downloaded the location picture which is this one okay so now the problem i'm having with this location is that i actually just need okay so i have something like this okay and i'll bring in my okay let me see so now let me copy this text here this friday copy i bring it and i type press ok so this is it i can increase it and reduce it depending on what i want so this one now i want to change the color to something like this i think I'm okay with this color so or instead let me even use a black color so let me reduce it thank you
so now i'm not satisfied with the position of this so uh, the position both of them okay i'll still reposition them so i think i'm okay like this so the next one is to have my session now the next thing i'll add i'll add a rectangle so let me change the color to green i think i'm okay like this so i'm going to copy this text which is here All right. and press ok so i'll fit in my text i will resize it a little bit i think i'll reduce the size a little bit to 35 good and i also change the color to white so i'll go to color what do i have here i have white here but my rectangle is too big so let me first move the first section to somewhere here and reduce my rectangle okay. i think i'll just leave it like this at least <coughs> we can manage this but i'll rearrange my writing i'll reposition it so that i'll have something better yes let's centralize it so our first session now as it is since i already have these two i can now go ahead to my layer i want to copy both of them so that i can drag them down so now what i'm going to do is i'll tap here and copy tap this one too and copy so now i've copied both of them so i'll move this one down to this point and also move this one down to this point I want to put it in such a way to correspond to this so i think i'm okay with the position of that now I'll reposition this one so that will have so for this one now it's going to so now you can see the second session i need to rearrange it so that will have now as it is this rectangle okay no need i'll just reduce the size of the second section so i've reduced it to 33 now i'm going to reposition it so repositioning it now i have something like this okay so i have first session and i have second session so so after this first session now i can now go ahead and write down my time which is either okay don't mind me i love to copy text so permit me to just copy this and copy and drag so this one now so that's for the first session so i think i'm okay with that so the next now to copy that same one then this one is press ok so i think i'm okay with this now i can come here and copy this one if i so wish i'll copy it i'll drag it down now I'll double click on it and then this is just the shape i made use of this landline so you keep on pressing it you make sure it's long when you press it to a particular extent you can double tap copy it and start pasting it so let's paste let's have like two lines first and check okay so two lines is actually too much let's clean it let me clean it and leave it up to one point one and a half line and see 
okay so one and a half lines is too much let me clean it okay let me try again so we can see at least we are having something similar that means i'm going to add to it so let me add and see okay let me add a little okay so i think i'm satisfied with something like this yes i'm satisfied with something like this so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to take each of these things upward with this one now move it let me reposition it move it up one two this 22 i also move it up one two this me also move it up one two this one i also move it up position one two so let me control the movement down a little bit i think i'm okay with this so this one too i'll reposition it one two something like this to this one so let's take it up a little bit now to reposition it that's want to centralize it so i centralize it then i'll bring it down a little bit yes so and actually you can reduce the pose the the size if you so wish so you can see i've reduced my size so since i've reduced my size let me copy a part that I can paste so that to make it longer okay let me paste again okay so uh -huh. I think I'm okay with something like this okay so I can I will copy this one all right anyone So I can actually reduce this now. Then I'll go to <coughs> remember my my <coughs> my spacing letters and increase it. So that will have something like this. So I think we now have a complete flyer. So you can see that this is what i designed using photoshop we are able to achieve almost the same thing by just the use of our android phone with pixel lab application so this this so you can do more although before we conclude this course that's the course on this pixel lab i will also like to show us one other thing yes which i'll do in the next class so thank you so much for following patiently and thank you for watching this video. We really appreciate you. So finally, we are done with our flyer. Thank you for watching the last video. So the next thing is to save. Now, if you want to save this flyer, you can go ahead and tap your save button here. So you can see save as project. What it means as save as project, if you could remember. It, what you mean as save as project is, okay, it's something, you know, the, the meaning of project is like you're working on something. So this save as project is like saving your work, the raw file, in that you can come back later on and re-edit good so let's assume it's a work that you might likely come and readjust or change anything at any time you can save it as a project so you can see it's telling me project name let me name it class 001 okay so now it has saved it as project 
now and what me what i want to do now is to save as an image so now you can either use your jpeg or your png anyone you use is okay then dimension you can see default now i would, I would advise you to go for either high or very high or if possible ultra like me i'll go for ultra then you can save it with either png or jpeg so now i'm going to go to save to gallery so now it's saving my image so now let's go to my gallery so we can see how very neat the work is are you seeing that's why i say you should save using the ultra so you could see how neat the work is so congratulations because if you follow from the beginning you should be able to do something like this or even something much more better than this I'll be showing you one final thing. You know, like some of some flyers because this flyer we design now. It's just a normal flyer with people and the rest but now i want to show you how you can design a flyer and even put the picture of someone in such a nice and very good and perfect way so now first of all let me go back thank god i've saved my project already so i can go to this one you can see are you sure you want to open the project any progress will be lost so since i've saved my project already i'll say okay so now don't worry about all this one we are not actually designing so don't think as if i'm stressing you i just want to show you one other thing where you can use to put your picture or put someone's else maybe i design a flyer for a guest minister to put his picture and the rest so now the first thing we do is you need to create you know it's just like if you understand your frame that's i'm not talking on frame now with in videos or uh -huh. i'm talking of your normal picture frame you know a frame is just like something that encompasses a picture and uh -huh. it encloses a picture so now i want you to pick a shape now the shape you want to use to frame your picture is your choice you can decide to use a square a semicircle a circle a triangle or any other shape of your choice but now i would love to use a cycle here so now let's say this my cycle i'm okay with this size so now with this cycle selected i'll come to this option so you can see my edit but i'm not going there yet i'll now scroll down to texture are you seeing my texture so it is showing no texture selected i'll enter it then i'll go to my gallery Now my gallery, this was the picture I was looking for. I wanted to use this man's picture. But you can use any other picture or use your own picture. You understand? Uh -huh. It doesn't really matter. The main thing is for you to understand the concept. So you tap on it and to show you to resize. Well, I don't want to resize. So you can see it. Now, as it is here, you can you see maintain ratio. Don't worry about the maintain ratio. The scaling, I will advise you to increase the scaling are you seeing what's happening good the only disadvantage that this one have is as you can see you cannot actually arrange the picture inside are you getting it it's only the cycle that you can arrange you can actually arrange the picture and inside but if you can before you use any picture make sure for this thing to work make sure the picture is a perfect picture that's the space between the left and right of the picture is perfect you understand uh -huh. if it is perfect the picture will definitely okay let's try something now let's assume the distance between the man to his right and the man to his left now is centralized now we we'll press good so you can see what's happening now you can see that the man is actually centralized here let's go back to our texture let's go to scale and increase it so you can see what just happened right so you can increase it here or reduce it or 
uh -huh, or make it longer or uh -huh, and stuff like that you understand right so yeah you can increase it reduce it depending on your choice and yeah you can actually rotate it that's if you want this is one of the things i'm there to show us yeah you put you can use a square you can use a love shape a triangle shape so if is a shape that's how you do it then the last thing i'll be showing us is this bizarre tool now this bizarre tool you have to be patient to be able to work with the tool so let's ask what i want to do and to create like a curve around this cycle you understand not around share but on this main this thing i'm working on so i'll go to bizarre now you see this thing we have here you can see it this line here this one here you can see that it's up here so how do we go about it now once you enter it you see this bizarre mode you see this first mode is to add a point you see this next mode is to curve a point you understand to curve a point or to rearrange a point and to reposition a point then you see this next one is to move the whole thing so you see now i'm moving the whole thing so now i want this point now now all this one this first one is to cancel a point let's as want to delete a point this this first one is to delete a point the second one is to join two points together uh -huh. then to complete the visa mode to join two points that's two ends together then this one here is to increase the scale are you seeing what's happening is to increase or reduce depending on your choice uh-huh so i'm not doing that i'll cancel it then this one here is to rotate i see what's happening but well, i'm not doing that now so now i'll come here i'm okay with the position of the this thing here so the next is to reposition now you can see you can see what's happening you can see so i want to reposition this to this way then this one i want to reposition it to this way so now what i want to do next is to add a point here so for me to add a point here if i want to add a point i will first select here why if is this place i want to add a point i'll first select here after selecting i'll now press here are you seeing it i've pressed the place now once i select this place if you see all this action now what it means that i've selected a point which is this one now if you look at the point closely let me move it you find out that it has a, an arrow you see this second one does not have an arrow it's just normal but this has an arrow that's to tell you that i've selected this point already so any action i'll take here now will be this point for this point so we are we arrange it like this so now go to this add we want to add a point now you can see this one is adding a point this one is joining a point so now add a point are you seeing it aha uh -huh. so now that's one way to add a point do you get it good so apart from that let me sorry now i need to explain this thing well for you so now i'll come once i've selected this one now adding a point right i'll come here i can come here and draw a line are you seeing now any place you tap now it will create a new point let's assume i tap here now are you seeing what's happening are you seeing what's happening it will create a point so i don't want all these points let me delete it let me delete them so you just press this one for you to delete so this point now i want to take it extend it to somewhere i want to bring it down here something like this but you see bringing it down the thing curved here so now i have to reposition this place to reposition this place just want me to select this one and tap here now tapping here i can easily take this line and rearrange like this because what i'm looking for it was, is a straight line on the straight line so you can see from here already i'm having a straight line like this at least i'm having a straight line like this Let me reposition it here. Uh -uh. Sometimes someone have to be precise. 
so i think i'm okay with this so to move this one up because i want to see the point at the end here i will tap here then move it up so you can see my point so now i want to go because i want to add the point so the next point i want to draw here so you can see that it's curved here it's not a straight line so to make it straight i'll select here come to this place this white line drag it up this way now the same way i'm straightening that's the same way you can curve it to any shape you can see how i'm curving it to any shape of your choice okay let me permit me to even curve it this way okay or this way instead or anyone share of your choice so i want to straight it up or put it something like this then this one to the white now here or make it correspond to this do you understand so now the next one to add another final point here so i will from here now i will tap or allow me to join the point now to join the point i'll tap here so you see i've joined this point this point here to this point am i right good so now okay no i don't need this so let me delete them permit me okay so you see i created two points at the same time that's this part here the first part here, and the second part now why this first part is not clicking at all uh -huh. so you see i've selected it's now showing me the first part this one is the second part to remove this second part now I can just press minus so you see it has gone so now i want to move this one here so that i'll see it clearer so now i want to straighten this one i will select this one tap on this this white i move it this way tap on this this white too i move it this way now i will draw this one okay no this one i'm okay with it i'll actually draw this one somewhere here and selecting this one too i'll drag it to somewhere here so now i'm okay with this i'll move it now moving it the next thing i'm going to do is that i'll go to my scale remember our scale and increase it now let me leave it at 172 and let me try to resize it so where is this thing let me edit it let me move it so now i move it to somewhere here so now i want to add color to this now if you go down you see fill here and you see the opacity zero and you see the fill color here and you also see stroke so now what i want to do is to fill it so this filling now i'll increase the opacity you see as i'm increasing the opacity is coming alive so here now you can decide to change the color to whatsoever color so now let me change it to this dark to this light green right okay so i've changed it so let me increase the size sorry uh-huh so i have something like this let me increase it very well so i have something like this so now but i don't want this one to be at the front i want to move it to the back so now i'll go to my layer then you see this place this edge that it has Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's two dots, each of them. That's four dots that have been lined uh -huh, vertically. So I will hold it here, drag it down, and you can see. You can see now. Now you can tap on this edit. Now, if you check, you see that we applied stroke to it. And uh, you see stroke width of five. So you can increase the stroke width. If you want you can play around with the stroke width uh -huh. i think i'm something like this i can even increase the stroke width uh -huh. let me see something something like this should be okay for me then this uh, i'll reposition it relative center uh -huh so you can see you can use it to make very cool and wonderful designs 
so thank you so much we have come to the end of our graphics design class with this one i've taught you i guess you should be able to do many other things in our next subsequent classes we will be talking of other things because there are many other things here that we have not touched yet uh -huh, but we'll stop here at least with what you know you should be able to design a good simple and good looking flyer for any kind of event or any kind of team so thank you so much i really appreciate ben elohim hope loves you thank you